Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now I'm out here. So today, kind of a little special day. We got the car jacked up here. We got kind of a few parts taken off already. Today we're gonna be putting on the rear load control arms, and we have a True Heart. Let's see if I get this out of here. True Heart rear suffering brace. Pretty much I've had this since a little before Christmas. I still haven't put it on because I don't have time, but today I was off work because of the weather. And yeah, I already got a few stuff off. I haven't recorded because I had to charge the camera real quick, so I'm recording as much as I can, as fast as I can right now. But yeah, if there's enough time, we're gonna do the rear coilovers. And then tomorrow, for sure, the front coilovers. And I also need some auto tie rods. This man's about to play some music. Play some bangers. Play some bangers for the boys. See if we can get stuff on real quick. And I'll show you guys progress right now. Five hours later, managed to get just about everything in. Well, everything is on right now. I just need to uh, torque these down to specs. And then put preload on lower control on bushings. And then tighten those to specs. And yeah, should be done. I don't know why this control arm wasn't lighting up with these little three bolts. It took me like almost two hours to figure it out. This one right here was a little bit of a pain too. But yeah, managed to get it all on. It's my first time doing rear load control arms on this car and first time doing a self front brace ever. Hey, that's what you learned. Something I learned about my car right now. It's a piece of crap. I hate it. But yeah, once I do all that, I'll get to you guys in a minute. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm a new friend. Where is he? There he is. I don't know how he managed to get in this little bag, but he did. I just heard something flopping around. I captured him. But I think I'll call you Philip. Alright guys, so... Got everything... Sort of down the specs here. Everything's on completely. Looking pretty good. Just need to clean it down. And we're gonna be good to go. Yeah, it's late now. I don't really think I have time for the rear coilovers. I work really early tomorrow. But if I don't have work, well, it just depends on the weather. I'm gonna be doing the rear coilovers, probably the front too, and uh, outer tie rod. Right, guys. So we are back after like a week and a half or so, and already got started on the coilovers. When it's, we're gonna start on the rears. Right now, I'm just uh, switching out. When I had uh, my coilovers put on, these right here. Uh, on the back looks like they switched the camera arm bolt with the coilover bolt. So I'm just right now switching them back. I think they did the same with the other side too. Shit. Oh yeah. I'm not sticking out of there. Right guys, so I got this side done. So you can see that. Now we're gonna get started on the other side. Hopefully go more smoothly. Hopefully this exhaust really isn't a problem on this side. I don't think so, but we'll see. Alright guys, so I got the other side on. Let's see here. Alright guys, welcome back again. So we got all the coilovers on. And uh, right now I'm just about to adjust the height because the front sits a little higher than the back. So it's pretty much just like kind of squatting, not too much. And I actually want that, you know, like front rake kind of thing. So yeah, we're going to be going for that. And then today we're going to be putting on the wheels finally. And then after that, we're gonna go get a alignment. So I'm gonna get started on that. Just get the jack out. All right guys, so I got all the wheels on. Everything is adjusted. Got the front rake that I wanted to go with. Let me show you guys. My phone sit on the ground. When I go up, not much room, huh? The back, this. About an inch or so. It's pretty nice. All wheel guts are dead even pretty much. Oh my god, I forgot how good they look. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna set the pre-rolled on this one because I feel like I don't really set it up right. So I'm just gonna redo that and then we're gonna go to N2B to get an alignment. All set. Just about to finish my alignment here. My boy's telling me that these bushings in here are pretty bad and it just messes with my alignment once I'm driving. So, next upgrade. 
Guys, I'm so high up here, bro. Dude. It's not that scary. You guys don't know I'm afraid of heights. We're going down, guys. We got Omar. <laughs> we. Go drive and let me know. Oh, okay. Alright well, guys, so the alignment is done. Just went for a test drive and my god, this thing feels like a boat. I have the dampening set to the softest and I'm pretty sure I have to adjust that because it feels pretty scary going 100 miles an hour right now. I'm just going to be putting on these center caps. That's all I'm missing right now.